much complete here with my base color. I've got all the pieces covered up now. I still have my problem areas that I need to go back in and check in Maya and look at some of the UVs as well as the face normals. But for now, uh, I'm pretty happy with the base color I have on. I'm going to go ahead and save the scene. And it's going to save it uh, right inside the scenes file where I launched Maya from. So I'm going to call this Jerry Can Texture Version 1. I'll we'll save it out as a .mud file. Okay, just closing this down. I'm coming back into my Maya scene here. And I'm going to, first of all, just display face normals. So I'm going to go ahead and come back into standard view here and just take my subdivisions back down to zero. And I can see right here that there isn't a problem with normals. They are facing correctly. Go ahead and turn the normals off and see if I can discover anything else. Come into lighting, turn off two-sided. So again, I'm not seeing any issues here. So let's go in and take a look at our UVs. Okay, so our problem area was right about here. And I think we are just missing something along here. Let's go ahead and find that. That is this area right here. I'm going to look for the UV on it. And it seems to be missing a face, so slide that over there. Let's grab the face, see if we can find it out here. So uh, I think it's right up here. It sort of got left behind, and I think that's uh, causing the one problem there on that side. Probably the same thing has happened over here. So we're going to have to select a couple of these. So that one's there, so I think it's these two. Hopefully you didn't have this problem with yours. Okay, so I'm just going to planar map and bring them over here. Select the UVs on it. And they seem to be laying right on top of one another. So I'm going to pull them apart. There we go. Scale this down quite a bit. And we'll move it over here get it in the range. So still need to scale it down. Okay, I'm going to select the edges over here. And reattach. So we're going to move and sew. All right, so we've got that little area fixed. I probably have the same issue on the other side and some little stretching areas that we're going to have to kind of go through and kind of uh, make sure that the faces are where they need to be. Okay, so I'm going to go through my model and clean up a few more areas that we're showing up in Mudbox as problematic. And we'll meet back here. Uh, I've got a little bit of overlapping here I'm seeing that I'm going to have to correct. So that's, uh, that's where I was having my issues right there. So I'll fix a few of these things offline. If you have similar problems, uh, go ahead and make those corrections. 
You can always uh, make a correction here, save it, save the scene, and then go in and send it to Mudbox and just say update current scene. And this way you'll get those fixes. They'll show up in Mudbox and you can start uh, kind of going through one by one and just making those corrections. All right, and we'll pick things up here and continue on with the uh, textures that we're going to do in Mudbox. And we'll do that in the next lesson.